Hello, my name is Ted Maher. I'm with One Focus Medical, and I'm going to be demonstrating Amazing Charts today. Designed by a doctor for doctors, Amazing Charts is an affordable, user friendly, and easy to learn EHR. The program makes it simple to schedule appointments, send messages, chart patients, and much more. So let's get right at it. Essentially, this is the Amazing Charts main screen. It is your navigation screen. Anywhere you need to go and anything you need to do can be done from here. You can access the different screens through drop down menus, quick buttons, and even hotkeys. Like you can do Alt H and it brings down the help screen. The easiest right away, I mean, well, everybody works a little differently. I'm going to say easiest, but you might like the drop downs or the high keys. I actually prefer the buttons. So the buttons right at the top, the first one is schedule. Actually, we'll bring up your scheduler and it will default to the current day scheduler. So today, that's September 5th. The menu button, the messages button, will actually bring up your inner office messaging system. Amazing Charts provides secure inner office messaging. It makes it simple to send and receive messages amongst providers and staff. See, when you open up the messages button, it actually defaults to your inbox. And you can see any, any message that you have coming. And from here, you can actually create a new message. But also, if you actually select a patient from over here in the patients list, and then when you hit new, you can choose who the patient is, I mean, the message is going to, I'm going to choose the provider. I can actually attach the patient's entire account and chart to that message. So when I receive it, it's with a couple clicks of a button, you can actually pull up that patient's entire account and chart. Actually, you can actually even use Amazing Charts as a reporting tool or documenting tool. Because say you right here, you, what, you can actually click on medications, refills, or orders. I will bring, if we go orders, I can actually schedule a EKG for that patient and save it to the patient's chart. Now I can either pull the chart directly from here, save the chart, or even send the message. So with a couple clicks of the button, I'm actually using your messaging system not only for messages, but as a documentation tool. Now the reports button actually brings up the reporting tool. It's a pretty powerful tool that offers a wealth of information right at your fingertips. You can actually say you want to do a medication recall. So I can actually select medications, type in the medications. I'm going to do aspirin. Wasn't that aspirin? No, it was acetaminophen. That's right. Choose that. I can add the criteria to query, run the report, and it brings up all the patients that actually I was I prescribed aspirin to. I actually select all and I can quickly email everybody. So with a couple clicks, I can run a report, select all the patients, and email everybody and tell them that this, this medication has been recalled. There's definitely things you may want to do. I mean, you may want to search demographics or diagnoses or allergies. They're all different fields. It's a pretty powerful tool that you can, you can actually search a lot. Also, if you notice here, we actually have a meaningful use wizard. The government incentives are very important and this basically allows you to uh, have a little wizard that will go through those incentives um, in a meaningful use. We'll actually go there at a different time. We'll jump out of here. Now it's going back to the, uh, the schedule. Now the patient list below the schedule actually allows you to search the patients by ID, last name, and first name. You can see, now once you actually ha have a patient selected, I can actually take a Mickey Mouse and pulls that up. Now below the patient list, you can actually do, uh, I can pull their demographics, I can pull their chart right away, I can print their last encounter or demographics, I can search their pa for new appointments, and I can actually I can actually document missed appointments, which is always a big thing. 
below here is a scheduling window or calendar. Basically, here I can jump to a specific date, like let's say I can do a week ahead of time. Um, and I can choose any day I want, any month, or any year. Or maybe I want to jump four weeks ahead of time. So it'll bring you up the schedule for a month ahead. Now, scheduling in Amazing Charts is quick and easy. The quickest way is actually I'll just click on, uh, pull up the patient in the patient's list, click on it, hold that down, drag it over to the schedule. I'm going to do 10.30 a.m. and let go, and it brings up the booking window. From the booking window, actually, I can change a lot of different things. One, I can change the date, the provider you're having it with, the visit type. Now I'm choosing sick, but and there's multiple visit types. Actually, the visit types can be customized per practice, and that's that is something set up in the administration options. And I can also enter a reason for the visit. So maybe the patient was vomiting. Not good around the holiday season, but they're vomiting and then also I think this patient's going to need more time with the doctor so we can override the, the default duration I'm going to choose 30 minutes now right down at the bottom you can see they have, uh, right away they have an outstanding balance who the provider is with the appointment time the visit type the length also if I want I could actually check and have, have a printer print a reminder for the patient and I can click book it right away it brings up that reminder which I can print or save an email um, close that out now we actually have the patient the appointment booked now once you have it booked uh, a bunch of different information pops up in this lower uh, lower left one say I want to make a quick change I could edit the appointment it brings up booking window again I can change all those features or maybe I want to reschedule. They called up and I said, hey, can I reschedule for 1 o'clock the same day or any other day? I can actually go to that time slot, hit reschedule. It brings up another nice window, a documentation window, which actually I can actually notify the provider that, hey, this appointment has changed in case you were planning on it. You can also verify the appointment. So maybe they called in. And they say, All right, I want to confirm my appointment. And then you can put in your notes. Now, the notes are, say, uh, he is very nervous regarding condition. I don't think he wants to vomit on his uh, holiday season. Hit save. Now, we actually, now once you've actually made a note, when you highlight and have your cursor highlighted over the appointment, you'll see the notes that were put in here. And obviously, remove appointment will completely remove that appointment from your schedule. Also, from the schedule, you can block off time. So first, let's go up, and I well, I am in my schedule, so I say Ted Maher. I can actually now select the time. I'm going to hit the black arrow. It will turn that field green or teal. I will hit the block button. It will give it a title. So I actually have a IRS audit coming up. So I want to call my accountant. So I click OK. That time is blocked off. Now, if I ever want to remove that block, it's like, nah, actually, I'm going to do it later. I can actually highlight that again, hit the black arrow, hit delete, and it has been deleted from the schedule. Now, entering new patients into Amazing Chart is a simple process. The quickest way is we just can go File, Add New Patient. This will bring up your patient demographic screen. There's a lot of information on the patient demographic screen. You actually only need four pieces of information. First name, last name, date of birth, and gender. The rest of the information can be entered at a later point in time. If I enter that information, I could get Save and Close, or right now, we're just going to click and just going to close out. Now, also from the schedule, you can you can do a there is a nice tool where you can do patient check in and check out. So I'm going to hit check in check out, and then it's asking me if I want to edit an old chart. I'm actually going to hit open new chart. 
Then it comes into the check-in, check-out window. Here, I could edit the demographics. I could quickly jump up to there. Or, and also, the teal fields, which are required for meaningful use and government incentives, are automatically highlighted. There is a nice practice document screen, which I can actually highlight. Maybe I need a patient release document. I can print that. And then actually after I print it, I can scan it back in. So two steps or actually a couple steps with the scanner. I actually have that scan right back in. There's also a payment screen, which is very easy, where I can actually collect co-payments. I'm going to hit $50. I can, uh, they gave me a check. They still accept checks. Uh, and then also I can check it to print a receipt. So when I actually close it, it will actually print a receipt. And I can hand that to the patient. And then I'm going to go ahead and click close. Now, charting a counter is very simple and straightforward. Uh, basically, to pull an counter for a patient, you can either right click it from the patient list or just double click it on the schedule. Oops. You double click it once again it's going to have you ask you if you want to edit a previous visit I'm going to actually open a new chart when you do open up a new chart actually it's still going to default to your previous your most recent encounter and it will have a lot of the information filled out already this information is actually what it's doing is allowing you to choose that encounter as your stepping off point which saves time in when a patient comes back or multiple visits and you don't want to have to re-enter all the information. You actually you can choose any past encounter as your stepping off point. But I'm going to choose the most recent one. Once that is done, I'm just going to go File, New Note, and then New Note again. This will erase everything except for the history, which is important. Now, it brings up the fields. All these fields are free textable and actually have unlimited amount of text. So you can be dis as descriptive as you, as you like. Now in each of these fields you can type your, there's multiple ways of getting that information in there. You can type or you can use voice recognition programs such as Dragon Naturally Speaking for the medical or NoteSwift. In addition to those typing and voice recognition programs you can actually use templates. Now in each of these fields there are templates. When you go to a field, you right-click the field, and it will bring up your template builder. Right now, I can choose the annual. I click OK. I can select it. I can move the chart, and it will fill out that field. Now, Amazing Charts comes with hundreds of preloaded templates, but maybe you want to create your own template. So I'm going to type in, this is a test. I'm going to highlight that text. I click my Alt, push my Alt button down. And then I right-click it, and it will bring up Save Template As. I'm going to do Task 6, hit Save Template, and now I've created a template called Task 6. It's very easy. Now, as I was saying, all these fields are free textable, except for two, allergies and current medications. These are a little different. Um, the main reason is that Amazing Charts has a drug-to-drug -drug and drug-to-allergy interaction checking software built into it. So essentially, anytime you prescribe a medication, Amazing Charts is going to check to make sure that no other medications conflict with that or that the patient has an allergy to it. So because of that, it's a little different. So here you actually have to, for allergies, you click on the A button, and it brings up the allergy screen. You can either quickly check like the most common medications or bee sting, environmental. You could search for a a uh, allergy such as codeine and you can select that or one maybe the patient has no known allergies so you can actually just check that and click confirm list the medication field is pretty similar basically you go down here you double click it will bring up the medications you have the current medications that they are taking, those may be from a different provider. You actually can transfer it into the current practice. You can also, over here on the right, you can type in a uh, medication. 
select it. You can choose your SIG. You can actually who prescribed it. Oops, misspelled my own name. Reason for prescribed. Oops, uh, he's actually more the headache kind of guy. The date started, and they can actually save changes. Close that window. Now we get over to the vitals. Vitals are very easy to enter. They're free textable, as most of them, except for BMI. Because BMI is set by the height and the weight. Uh, weight and height. And as soon as you enter those, the BMI is automatically calculated. Now, there is a nice graph feature here if you ever wanted to graph out uh, your vitals over, or your patient's vitals over a period of time. Now, now we get down to diagnosis. Diagnosis has always been hard for doctors because you have to memorize the diagnoses. But here, you actually, you can just type in English. I'm going to do headache. And actually, we'll give you a list of, allerg I mean, of diagnoses. If these were not are specific enough, you can actually click up look up DX over here, and this this area is a little more thorough. And actually, I can see I'm going to do this type of headache and select diagnosis and say yes. I actually had already added that one, but it's been added. From here, once again, another nice feature you can write orders or write scripts like we had done with the. Glucose test, we can actually write an order for a EKG. And I can save this without sending. Now from here, um, we're getting towards the end of the notes. So if you're finishing up, there's a couple different options. If I'm not completely ready to finish today, uh, I need, or right now, maybe I want to come back later, I can click File and Save Chart to my inbox. That will actually send me an email with this whole chart, and then I, at that point, I can actually open it up, make my corrections or my additions, and then edit it. Because once I, I can click sign off, but once I click sign off, it is a medical record and it's not editable. And so, um, now I actually do a couple more steps after that, but you just know that once you do that, we actually are signing it. So I hit sign off, and then it also will bring up my CPT screen. Uh, so it's pretty easy to check off the main ones like I did the EKG for the quick codes uh, office visits and then uh, now get everything I want it all set up it's going to be a fit, established patient and then I'm going to hit sign it now once I do sign it it will bring up the print screen actually I think I did that wrong sign it It's actually save that encounter, and it brings up the print screen. From here, I can actually choose soap note, history, physical, detailed, detail large. I'm going to do soap note, and then I can go ahead and print my document. That's pretty much it. Amazing charts. It was designed by a doctor for doctors. The program offers an easy and affordable way for physicians and clinicians to practice medicine the way they prefer. Enables them to document quickly, easily, with fewest clicks. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration, and if you need more information, please give me a call. Have a nice day.